Hi Virgo, welcome to your February uh, sneak peek. This is going to be a short message and reading that serves as a heads up, an intro into what type of major themes and experiences can be expected for your sign uh, during the next month and as we move deeper into Aquarius season as well. And as always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading, only take what it feels right and uh, with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. Uh, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, such as Soul Vision Tarot Facebook and Instagram pages. So, Virgo, it does feel like February is all about being in contact with this very raw, deep, um, power source that has been lying inside of you like a dormant volcano. So there's a little bit of that vibe of a dormant volcano uh, inside some of you Virgos that are now that is now being awakened, and perhaps is being awakened not because of the best reasons, but still the fire that is coming out of it, which is a representation of your passion. Okay, passion that has been contained, life force that has been contained, smothered inside of you. Whatever is a trigger that I feel for some of you could be a little bit complicated or negative or challenging as it occurs, but whatever is the trigger, at um, the end of it is going to serve uh, to a good purpose because it's going to free you from energy that has been... Um, consuming you that is not um, very positive or even healthy. Some of you, this shakeup that might occur in February, it's about finding freedom from toxic associations, situations, environment, relationships. All of that is under a huge scrutiny for some of you Virgos during February. It's like, what is not healthy? What is it putting you down, pulling you down? What is keeping you in the underworld? What is keeping you in the dark, in darkness? You know, the universe is not going to let you stay there for much longer. And obviously, for some of you Virgos, you could have grown to be a little bit too familiar or comfortable in the shadows. And so the pulling out effect, the effect that rips you off of that apparent, you know, comfort zone um, is going to be felt as bringing a little bit of like this energy of tum um, this, uh, this energy of chaos tumultuous vibe you can expect some chaos or tumultuous energy to be a part of February but <clears throat> the end result feels very positive perhaps it's only is it, it's also going to actualize finally, certain changes and moves that you have not been making. I feel like one of the outcomes or aftermath of this trouble that might occur is that you might travel, you might change job, you might end a relationship or begin a relationship. Something that you have been like um, delaying or procrastinating about, like where you have been procrastinating about change, uh, it's done with. The universe is, is, is like intervening here because you have overextended the ability here in a free will to choose and to go on your own. Also, for some of you, this could be because <clears throat> you have been really attached to an energy um, where, particularly for, for Virgos that have been in a toxic relationship of sorts, addictive relationships, sexual-based relationships, or relationships that have something shady about them. Uh, and you have been in this situation for too long, particularly with fire sign energies like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or even Capricorn influences here as well. For those of you that have been in a toxic situation with someone, or allowed here an influence to take away your own sense of control of your life. This is what's ending and changing as well. It's like the universe wants you to be free from an energy of a person, uh, for many of you, that is just not good. It's not good for your growth. It's not good for your life because it's not 
allowing you to be tapping into your power and actually moving in a direction of change. For some of you, that this is not about a toxic presence. This is about the presence of someone in your life as well in February that can bring a lot of complications. Maybe there's nothing wrong with this person or this person's behavior, but they, their existence in your life for some reason is causing um, chaos, most likely because they will be a participant of this change as well. Um, this change as well that some of you will be making, it's almost like this person can out of the blue appear in your life, you know, a sudden love interest, a sudden uh, passionate affair, a sudden, you know, business um, proposal, a sudden someone or sudden ex that comes back and changes the game around that is also highly indicative here. And you're just left with this big question mark. Now what? Now, now what do I do? Some of you will need to reset the button and start over, like start fresh, start clean, leave behind all that is unclean. So anything in your life that you see has this dirty, shady, again, lower vibe component, uh, anything that you're seeing is taking you down, anything that you're seeing is not contributing to your sense of empowerment, please take it out of your life, trash it out. It's time to trash out something and just stay with what and whom provides uh, in you a sense of empowerment, a sense of being, you know, confident on your own skin. And you could be attracting either here a person. There's this, this, there's this contrast for some of you Virgos of either having a person that lifts you up at that level, makes you feel so passionate, so sexy, so free, so creatively liberated, or dealing with a character that it's the opposite, someone that wants to crush your power, dominate you, make you feel uh, insecure about yourself, so make you be in a submissive position. Being a lover, being uh, someone you're working with, just watch to not let anyone put their foot um like put their foot on you, put their foot down on you actually. So I hope this sneak peek uh, reading uh, was insightful and that it sparked your curiosity, Virgo souls, to watch then the full extended version of the regular monthly tarot vision reading that I will also obviously be doing. So yeah, hopefully we'll see and talk with each other soon.